welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I've wanted to film for so long and I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off but today I'm going to film it. Today is going to be my back to university stationery haul. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jodie or Jodie Marie. I prefer being called Jodie. Um, I study at the University of Lincoln and I'm about to go into my third and final year which is so sad. Um, I study business studies so without further ado let's just get into the haul. So, I'm a very organised person when it comes to like school and university. I like to make sure I've got everything where I want it in terms of folders and stuff. So I am someone that goes by a folder system and I basically use one lever arch file for every two modules I have. I have four lever arch files this year. I had one from last year that I didn't use and then I bought another three because I can't help myself. Um, I don't know how many modules I've got, I can't actually remember, so um, I bought three from Pound World. So I bought this lever arch file and it has mermaid scales on and it's pink and lilac and purple and turquoise and then it has holographic scales throughout it as well and it's the same all the way around. But it's white inside. Yeah, I think I paid like £1.60 60 I want to say for this in the end and then I always got this purple one to match and then this one just has holographic outlines of scales all over it and again this one's white inside and again it's a lever arch I paid £1.60 for this one as well and the last one I got from Pound World is this one this is the one that drew me into buying one and then I spotted the other two and I was like I'll just get all three um this one matches the other one I had from last year more which was the theme i was going to go with and then i ended up buying the mermaid scale one so i have like a mixture of two themes throughout now um this one just has uh what is it like navy blue with pink and it's like an off-white gray kind of triangle maybe it is just white and then it's got rose gold triangles going through it and the inside is bright pink and again it's a lever arch file i much prefer a lever arch to a ring binder because ring binders scare me when you've got to close the clasp i always get scared i'm going to trap my fingers like i said this was left over from last year and i didn't use it um and this one has pink and the navy kind of blue color and green going through it so it matches the other one quite well and then it has like a it's like a bluey purple. I don't know what colour it's going to come up on the camera, but it looks kind of a blue purple. And this was from Sainsbury's. I think I paid like £3 for this one. Then I went to Aldi with my parents and I spotted these. They came in a pack together and these are ring binders. So although I said I don't really like ring binders, when I spotted these, I thought they would be really Yeah, I thought these would be good for chucking in my bag, going to the library, maybe just taking like one section of a module in rather than taking like a massive ring binder with all of my module in. Um, so yeah, it's just white with black polka dots and then it says my stuff on the bottom corner. It came up with another one and it was this one and this one's just black with white stripes. I think they were, they were reduced. I think they were 199 for the for the set. To go along with them when I was in Aldi I picked up three different notebooks which are really cute. So I got the matching one to the two folders, um, just a black and white one which this one actually says uh, brainstorm on it and then the white one with the black polka dots is just plain. These were 149 um, so that one was a pack of two and then I got these two which have just got one notebook in. These are A5 size. So in which I had from last year is this. This is from The Works. It's just a marble notebook, but inside, rather than it being lined paper, it's actually plain paper. I think that was £3. Something else which I got from Pound World when I got the folders was this. Um, so again, this kind of matches the blue and pinks that are running through all of them. Um, and it comes with a little pen as well, which I thought was quite nice. Um, and this says Little Book of Lists. And basically, it is literally just a list um book so it says so much to do and then you can just do it all i wish it kind of had like little tick boxes at the end but it's not a big deal something which i really recommend and i think i'll put these in a recommendations video for uni are an assortment of like clips and pins and stuff mainly the pins is what i recommend um but i have used the ball dog clips when i have presentations and i take record cards with my what i want to say on um they come in really handy this set was from morrison's i think it was only like two pound um and it just comes with 
an assortment of different bits and bobs. Um, I definitely recommend pins. Most, if you're going into university halls, most of them have boards that you can pin stuff onto. So pins are something that I would definitely put on your list. The next thing I bought is so random and I actually don't know why I bothered buying them because I do have some, but I bought them anyway. Um, I just got a pack of Bic Kids Evolution colouring pencils. It just comes with 12, I think. Yeah, 12. Um, I don't really know why I bought them, but they were a pound, so you can never have too many pencil colours. So I just picked up a black and a blue set of the Bic Round Stick pens. They were a pound from the pound shop. Um, and I just thought for research or if I'm doing seminar work or anything then these will just be handy because I can just put them in a pot and get one out when I, if and when I need one. The thing I got was from the works and this is my journal for this year or my planner for this year. Um, I was going to get one from Paper Chase that Charlotte Emily, I will leave her channels down below, her vlogs, university vlogs are my favourite, she vlogged the whole of her first year um and she does university videos and then she has another channel where she does like crime videos and hauls if you like that kind of channel and those kind of videos i will leave both of her links down in the description so don't forget to go and check them out um but she showed one from paper chase which was really nice but when i went to look at it although it was really nice i didn't really like the price tag that went with it so i knew the works did really good ones for a really good price um because i had one last year so i went and they had a dream catcher one and something that you won't know about me is that dream catchers are one of my favorite things and my first tattoo i want to be a dream catcher so when i saw this one i just knew it was going to be this one that i chose it just says dream it believe it and achieve it um academic 2018-19 so it starts from august which we're in august now um it it's really good because it still has like all the necessary like term dates and stuff um, so you can put your timetables in basically and then it also has deadlines and there's like four four pages full of deadlines where you just put what subject it is and the date of it which will be really really handy to put all my deadlines out in one for like semester one and then semester two and then semester three um, and basically every day is a full page apart from a Saturday and a Sunday where it's split in half um, so I thought that was really good because you could literally put everything in here and it's it's A5 so it's not huge um, and it's really pretty and it was £3 instead of 10 they have some really nice ones so if you're looking for a diary and you didn't quite know where to get one from go to the works. Two things that I had from last year that I'm going to be using this year are these Zebra Funky pens. So in here you get um, three zebra animal ones which i believe are these three ones here you get three zebra animal brights which are these three you get uh three zebra floral ones which are the three on the front and then you get 15 zebra smooth which are all the ones at the back they come with black blue green a turquoisey color pink and purple the only color it doesn't come with is red which is like one of the colors i'd say i'd want but um, I believe, well, I got this from Costco, and I think it came to like £6.50, which I thought was pretty good for all of the other thing I got was a pack of three Pucker Pad project books, and I have one left over. I am someone that doesn't really stick to the project bit. I will either just take all of the tabs out and just have it as one big book, or I will put maybe two modules in here, but I am someone that does like a notebook for each module, which is why I might just use this for one. Um, and for lectures, I much prefer ones that are spiral bound. I just find it a lot easier. Something else from last year that I have is this Zoella weekly goals planner list. I got this in the Christmas sale in January um, and I've not really used it too much. Last year I had, or in semester two, I had um, my timetable on these. So I had two because my weeks differed. Um, so it was like week A, week B kind of thing. Um, so I just put in different colours what se what seminar I have and what lecture and then what time and what room. And then I can just look at this and think, oh, I start at 10 tomorrow. also has a ticket off, a notes bit, and then these three are all sticky tabs. 
so it's got like an arrow an exclamation mark and an asap which will be really good for deadlines and stuff so yeah if you can find like a weekly planner like that i definitely would recommend getting one so something i got from wilco's was this a4 color refill pad um i like to use paper like this when i go to the library and do research and stuff like i said i don't really use pads like this for lectures um but for seminars and stuff i do so i just picked up this really big one because it was like two pound 25 and they didn't have any of their like cheaper smaller ones in stock so i picked it up in blue because it kind of matched i also have one of these pucker pad um project books it's like a folder but it already has the stuff inside and i didn't realize i had one left over um otherwise i wouldn't have bought the ring binders so last year I had one and I just swapped all the stuff out at the end of the year and I basically kept all my seminar work in them. Uh, so I have some more pens. These again were something that I had from last year. These are the Stedler tri uh, Triplus. Um, these are felt ones. So I use these for my revision cards, for my, um, my, my lecture notes because I did a lot of equations. I learn equations better with certain symbols being certain colours, like a plus sign being red or a minus sign being green, say. So, um, yeah, these are just the 20 packs. The pens that I was on about earlier are the Bic Crystal Shine four colours ones. So they look like this. I've used these now for all, well, I will be using them for all three years at university. Um, I bought them in first year as an experiment to see if I'd like them and uh, they're expensive when they're not on offer. They're normally five to six pound each I see them for but um, Ryman's were doing them for two forty nine for a pack of three and Asda are doing a pack of four of them for two ninety nine. I think it was two ninety nine the other day. So if you're like me and um, you like these I'd definitely go and grab yourself some. Oh. so um these have your basic green blue black and red colors on and for lectures i find it so much easier to just have one pen out and then just click down for um maybe all my notes from the lecture slide in one color and then i'll click down for blue say and that's what my lecturer is saying but red for if they've given me what room they they are from or their email address in case anybody needs to contact them just stuff like that um so i would definitely go and buy so i bought two packs for the price of one which i'm very happy about next i have a bunch of punched pockets i'm really sorry it's going to be so loud because they rustle so much um but i have a bunch left over from last year this is from this pack is from sainsbury's there's 200 in there i think i got it for 90p so there's that one I also have some pucker pad ones. and then I do have some Asda ones as well there's more than this they've just fallen into the bag with all my stationery in um I think these were a pound for 120 yeah, I've realized I actually had a spare pad of paper and it's my favorite paper this is the campus refill pad uh, the thickness of this paper is 90 gsm which is 10 gsm more than your average pad of paper I sound like a right nerd saying all this I'm someone that's quite heavy handed when I write because I grip my pen really hard um, and this paper is really good because it doesn't really go through to the other side so yeah that's why it's my favourite paper this is like three or four pound a pad depending on where you go um, so I'm quite happy that I have a spare one I actually have another one at home as well something else from last year I know a lot of it is from last year and I said that not a lot was going to be from last year but oh well were these and I have spotted these but I can't remember where I spotted them um, this is the post-it miami and rio de janeiro collection set um so there's lots of vibrant colors uh there's 15 packs of post-its and there's 45 on each post-it i love post-it notes for sticking in textbooks when i'm just like jotting down something really quick or um i don't know i just use them for so so many different things I think I paid £6 for this, which for, for the post-it brand is actually quite good. I think these are normally like twelve ninety nine. So if you spot it and it's on sale and you can still get it, definitely go and get it if you like post-it notes. The next thing I have are these. These are, what are they calling them? Punched pocket wallets. Um, but I like to put my module handbooks in them. So 
at the University of Lincoln we have a site called Blackboard and on Blackboard we have every single module we do and um, every module gives us a handbook that you have to print or you don't have to but I like to print them off and stick them in the front of my folders so um, I bought these so that I can keep my module handbook because sometimes they can be quite thick because um, they, they have what your assessments are, how you're going to get graded, um, how many contact hours you're going to have, what you're going to do each week and every module leader does them a little bit differently so sometimes they they don't have a lot of information and sometimes they have an awful lot so I thought I'd just get these so I've got three to go in three out of the four folders because like I said one of the folders is going to be for my dissertation research and I don't know if I'll need one of them for, the, for that so I have two black and a blue um, and yeah I think they're 75p each we're right at the bottom of the bag now <laughs> um for seminars last year as well as the project book um, for seminars and lectures I would take some of my notes from the previous couple of days beforehand so I used to take one um, like a document wallet like this in with my lecture notes from, from a couple of days before or the lecture notes from the week before and then the seminar work maybe just depending on how I felt whether I took the project um, like folder or one of these so this year I got these ones from Aldi actually, so they're pink with yellow and white um, sprinkles on them and then they're teal blue and I actually, well, they're like a greeny blue actually, they're not really teal and I have eight of them, I thought that maybe the lips on them would would be a different colour but they're not, um, so I have eight but I'm just going to, I've got some sticky notes um, that I can just label on the bottom what modules what, I find them really handy, three sets of subject dividers have a set from last year from Tesco and then two for this year from Wilco I'm actually going to give my brother a set I think because my brother's going to university in September um, and he'll need some for his folders um, and I bought too many and I didn't realise so I basically only use about three per module so I use one for lectures one for seminars one for research or essays or whatever but I think the ones from work over 75p um, which I swear they used to be 35p they've definitely gone up in price I think this one might have been like around the same price but I don't really remember this is the last thing I think these are the last things um, so I also got three notebooks from Pound World when I bought the folders this one says extremely busy and is pink with gold on it this one says notes and ideas and it's like a green colour, greeny, turquoise or blue. And then this one says perfectly imperfect and it's got marble print on it. These cost me 80p in the end and they're basically just exercise books. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use them for because I don't really use stuff like this normally but I couldn't resist and I just ended up buying them anyway. Um, I think that's everything I have to show you guys. Um, my pencil case is just this marble one which I bought from the range last year it's really pretty because there's nothing wrong with it I'm not going to buy a new one for this year um I think this was 2 dollars but I did look and you can't get it anymore or you can get it in the one near me anyway and the other thing I don't have is my highlighters so last year I got the pastel stabilo ones um here's another one I got the smaller pack um but this year I want the bigger pack I just haven't gone and got one yet um, I think I'm going to go to Ryman's for it because I think they're still on at £4. I hope. Fingers crossed. If so, I'm going to get it from there. Um, but other than that, I believe that is everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below what year you're going into, whether that's at school or university. And if you do go to university, I really want to know what subject you do because it really intrigues me. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want more content about uni and my vlogs will start very soon it's just over I think it's around a month until I go back to uni which is really cool really scary and I don't know if I'm quite ready for that just yet but um who knows I will see you in my next video bye guys